Alright guys, this is another hot, sticky, wet bulb kind of day here in the end times at Bugs in a Jar Farm. It is uh, now a hot, sticky, buggy Monday afternoon. Are we at July 8th, 2024, somewhere right that I am hiding from the uh, from the biting horse flies in my uh, brand new better porch here uh, in the hummingbird tiny house. Uh, just thinking of, of, of the, the, the the latest sticky wicket that Hambone has got himself in. Uh, imagine that Hambone getting himself into a sticky wicket and wondering how the fuck am I going to get out of this one this time that my luck could be running out on me here at age 64. Uh, so anyway, uh, for once in my life, I'm going to try to use my better judgment. I Believe it or not, uh, I, I know you guys think I have no edit button whatsoever, but I do have somewhat of an idea when, when, to, when to keep my mouth shut, so I'm not going to share the uh, all of the myriad details of this latest sticky wicket because... Uh, all of you would uh, just turn out to, uh, it, it, with all of your well-meaning advice about how to handle it without knowing all the details. So anyway, the details are not important. It's uh, but we, we, I, I, I think that most of us have been in this kind of situation uh, <clears throat> in, in in life, and uh, you know usually. Uh, I get myself in sticky wickets because I don't know when to keep my mouth shut. That running my fucking mouth is what has gotten me uh, in, into trouble a lot more than keeping my goddamn mouth shut. But then there are situations, believe it or not... <coughs> where I have gotten myself in probably as much or more trouble uh, for keeping my goddamn mouth shut when I should have let my mouth run. So I, I, I'm kind of in this weird uh, place now uh, in, 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 in all of this. It, it, well, it's, it, it's going to be what it's going to be, but it's all coming to a head somewhere in the next one to three months. Uh, all, all, all of this shit is coming to a head where I've been balancing running my mouth too much uh, and not running my mouth, you know, running my mouth too much to the wrong people, not running my mouth enough to the right people. Uh, and uh, so... Where I find myself uh, going in uh, to my, uh, you know, right around the time I turned 65 uh, in September. Good Lord, it's already July. So I turned 65 in a couple of months in uh, all sorts of, <clears throat> this just opens up as anyone who's turned 65, you, you get to really start getting dragged through all of the various bureaucratic red tape traps from hell. So, uh, as, and, and, and I know, and I knew on some level uh, that my day of reckoning uh, was going to be coming, was going to be coming along but you know I honestly thought I would be dead by the time I turned 65 and at the rate I'm going maybe I will be dead by the time I turn 65 and all of this uh, worry will have been for nothing 
uh, because dead people uh, don't get themselves into sticky wickets. But anyway, how would I describe this? It is kind of, I don't know which cliche metaphor to use here, so I'm going to kind of mix my metaphors and cliches. <clears throat> so on one hand, I guess the way you could look at it is I am stuck between, I don't know, a, a rattlesnake and a water moccasin. Uh, if I turn to the left, I get bit by a rattlesnake. If I turn to the right, I get bit by a water moccasin. That there is no dis correct decision here. <clears throat> Where I have to make a choice. And pretty much, I would say by July 22nd, I need to make a choice. <clears throat> uh, and there's two options. There is not, well, dying, I, I mean, and there's always the option of killing yourself, which is, you know, solves a whole lot of problems for yourself and a lot of other people. So unless I, uh, I get the brains to kill myself or that I go to sleep and just not wake up one morning between now and July 22nd, which is the, what I'm hoping for, uh, I'm going to have to make a choice We'll call it July 22nd. If I pick choice A, I get bit by a rattlesnake. If I pick choice B, I get bit by a water moccasin. Uh, but, but either choice I make, I'm fucked. Either choice I make, I am fucked. And you know, and part of the of all the things that I'm I'm weighing, the pros and cons. You know, a lot of it has to deal. Should I be running my mouth more or less uh, as D Day approaches? Uh, it is one of many things. But but I'm but I'm fucked if I do, and I'm fucked if I don't. Uh, which is pretty much you know the story of global industrial civilization and the human race, and the 2024 election, and all the rest of it. It's just one more uh, frying pan versus the fire, uh, rattlesnake if you do, water moccasin if you don't, screwed if you do, fucked if you don't. But, for now at least, in the short term, <clears throat> to mix my cliches and metaphors a little bit, uh, it, it, it's kind of a situation right now that I have one rattlesnake in the hand, in my hand, and two rattlesnakes in the bush. So, would you rather have one rattlesnake in your hand or two rattlesnakes to bite you in the bush? Now, all three of the rattlesnakes right at the moment are still sleeping. But uh, there's a much, much better chance, depending on how I play my cards, that I am going to poke rattlesnake number one, the single rattlesnake, in my hand and uh, just get bit by one rattlesnake. Uh, which is going to suck. If I go this route and choose to poke the sleeping rattlesnake that I already have in my hand, uh, it, 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 you, you know, uh, it, it, it's really going to suck and it's going to hurt like hell. However, <clears throat> if I decide to throw my lot with the two rattlesnakes in the bush. Okay, if, if, if I take this option and say, okay, let sleeping rattlesnakes lie, very gingerly set down the rattlesnake already in my hand, getting ready to wake up and bite me in the ass, uh, and throw my lot in with those two rattlesnakes uh, sleeping in the bush, chances are 
that I will, you know, just not have to worry about it for quite a bit longer. I would, I'm just putting off, I'm trading in uh, the, you know, the chances of being bitten by one rattlesnake, you know, just to buy some time. And, and when I say buy some time, I honestly don't know, guys. I, 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 I mean, I don't know. It could buy me three months, three years, or 30 years. So there is a chance that if I very carefully put down the rattlesnake in my hand and risk getting bitten by two rattlesnakes, down the road, uh, there is a chance that I will, uh, you know, hopefully die by some other method, preferably by going to sleep tonight and never waking up. Uh, there is a chance, and a pretty good one, uh, with the way my health is going, that I will just go to my grave and something else other than the two rattlesnakes in the bush will kill me. And uh, it, it, it's kind of like a rant I was having earlier today that, you know, the older I get, uh, the easier it gets on one level, you know, to buy, to buy cheaply made stuff because you don't have to worry uh, about the shit you're buying lasting for very long. <clears throat> So, uh, I, I, I honestly don't know. So, I, I, I realize you guys do not have the details. But generally speaking, what have you found in your own life? Uh, when, whenever you're in this situation and you, 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 you have one rattlesnake in the hand versus two rattlesnakes in the bush, uh, which is the better choice? I mean, either choice, you're fucked. I understand that it's a rattlesnake versus a water moccasin choice uh, if you go with the one in your hand. You know what I'm saying. It, it, it makes no difference what you do. You're, you're going to get fucked. Uh, you're going to get fucked one way or the other. And, and it's not going to be, be pretty. But generally speaking, uh, which do you find is better to deal with? Is it better just to deal with the one rattlesnake that you have in your hand and let those chips fall where they may? Or, or should you take the uh, coward's way out and uh, and go for the two rattlesnakes in the bush, which, depending on how long you live, will come back to bite you twice as hard as the one rattlesnake in your hand right now. So right now, over, I will say, over the vehement the vehement, I would say, the vociferous objections of the majority of people who have heard this story so far, most of them are telling me, pick the rattlesnake, the, the one rattlesnake in your hand. Uh, because the two rattlesnakes in the bush could, could, could uh, bite you in the ass a lot worse than that one you're holding in your hand, Hambone. But I don't want to get bitten by any fucking rattlesnakes. And uh, this is why uh, I'm hoping that I will just be dead by my 65th birthday. Uh, <clears throat> I, I have never in my life wanted more in my life than, than to d d just lie down and go to bed and never wake up. Every year I say all I want for my birthday, all I want for Christmas, uh, is simply 
to lie down and never wake up and never have to think about fucking rattlesnakes biting me in the ass. And I, I, I just want it for the record, I am not playing the victim here. There is, uh, there, there is one reason, and one reason only, I, I, am, uh, I, I am in the, the predicament, uh, you know, a predicament is a problem with no solutions, <clears throat> just like with global industrial civilization, uh, it, 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 I, I have nobody but myself to blame for this. I have nobody but myself to blame uh, for this rattlesnake-infested uh, prediction uh, predicament that I'm in. Mm -hmm. Although I, uh, I will say, uh, strangely enough, it's more because I elected to keep my mouth shut than to let my mouth run. Uh, the decision to keep my fucking mouth shut uh, is, is right now uh, threatening uh, me, me worse than I'm usually threatening by running my fucking mouth. So that, that's another, you, you know, it doesn't make any fucking difference. Keep your mouth shut, you get fucked. Run your mouth, you get fucked. You know, there's no fucking way to win any of this. And again, I'm not playing the victim. I have no one but myself to blame for this rattlesnake-infested sticky wicket. Which is usually the case with sticky wickets. From individual... Uh, lifestyle and consumer choices right on up uh, to global industrial civilization and the human species. We deserve every fucking thing uh, we have coming towards us. How, however this plays out uh, in, in my own life, uh, which, whichever way I go, uh, I deserve every fucking thing I'm going to get. Okay? Uh, I, I'm a grown man. I, I made my goddamn choices. And, 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 and uh, now it's uh, time to pay the fucking fiddler. Uh, at least it will be here in a couple of months. And, uh, and what's uh, true for me, as I say, is uh, true for uh, th this whole shit show uh, we, we call... Global industrial civilization. We have no one to blame but ourselves for getting ourselves into this fucking mess. Give a fuck what it is. Donald Trump or Joe Biden. Well, we can kind of blame Joe Biden for that one, I guess. But you know what I'm saying. Uh... All right, then I'm going to wrap this up because I just saw the uh, the Amazon delivery truck rolling down the road, and uh, and I want to see if Santa Claus left me anything. If, if Jeff Bezos sent me another uh, little trinket from Global Industrial Civilization to. Uh, Get me through another day. And then uh, I've got a margarita with my name on it. Bye, guys.